MG Rob back with you again. And after digging into the brakes on the midget, I decided that this would be a good time to talk about project creep. That's something that can happen quite often on these older cars as you get into things and you deal with rusty fasteners or work that other people have done in the past that may not be up to par. So let's get into uh, what I've been finding. All right, so as I started getting into working on this thing, of course, I went ahead and put rotors on it, pads, and hardware. But it needed hoses. Because here's one of the hoses that came off this, the hose that came off this side, you can see that it's definitely need a replacement. But when I got into it, um, these midgets here, especially these rubber bumper midgets are a little bit more difficult than some of the other cars just because the way the hoses are installed they come up through here and they go through the inner fender well rather than to a bracket here now the book pays you know, three tenths of an hour per side to replace them while you're doing brakes which is usually pretty decent it's not that big of a deal um, but in this case here, it's taken much longer than that kind of time. Uh, that three tenths of an hour is what I quote when I'm pricing everything out to my customers. So on these rubber bumper midgets specifically, there's this extra rail here that was added to support the rubber bumpers. And the brake line comes in way down here, so it's really hard to get a wrench in there and work on it. And of course, there's originally a uh, air hose that goes through here that feeds the um, heater. And this line here was very rusty, so I had to be very delicate and careful with trying to take that apart. And no matter, even though I was trying as best I can could just barely moving it it broke so it was probably at that point where a panic stop would have probably blown it out now on this other side it's buried way down in where you can barely even get a hand, one hand down into it at all and that's after taking the air cleaner off you can't get to it otherwise So you can see that there's little um, perforations here, that little tabs that are bent up to hold this line in place. And my thought on this was originally to let me show. Let me go to the table here. All right. So this is like how the hose is set up when you have the brake line hooked to it. Originally, there's supposed to be what they call a jam nut that bolts this to the inner fender well. So that would give me this much room to be able to loosen that nut off to get this out of the little holding tab so that I could spin this, so I could hold this and spin this out of the um, nut on the end of the line, the tube nut. But since these had been replaced somewhere in the past and somebody lost these, cut them off, whatever, Put just standard nuts on there that didn't give me enough room once all this is all tight to actually back it off far enough to get it out of those tabs which meant i it was much more difficult to do and that left line ended up breaking off just barely moving it and on the right line Evidently the person had cross-threaded it before because I fought that every thread and now I absolutely will not thread back onto the new hose at all. So that means I have, I'm replacing both front hard lines on this car now. And then the other problem we have is that is supposed to be where the bleeder is at on this caliper. And somebody has broke it off flush with the caliper in the past. 
So those are some good examples of project creep. On these older cars, you'll run into this actually quite often, especially when you're talking stuff like this that's not higher end cars to start with. They were cheap for many, many years. And they're still relatively affordable, which means a lot of hands have been into them over the years working on a budget. So you can see a lot of interesting things and a lot of stuff that's been overlooked, cobbled together, whatever. That is fairly normal. You pretty much have to expect it. Now, I quote everything in my shop based off of the book time. And I try to stick with that time, but there are certain instances like this where you just get into extra stuff that's too much beyond the, the uh, book time that you just have to charge a little more. It takes so much more time to mess with than it's supposed to. And you know, if you're working on stuff yourself, you have to be ready for the stuff. You have to be able to tackle the stuff and kind of go with it. You're going to put more time into it than you would like to almost all the time. And it's just part of the game. Which is why being a mechanic isn't for everybody. Because not everyone has the patience to do this. But anyway, I just thought that would be a nice little, pro little project creep video for everyone. So, this is MG Rob. Later.